At 200 some dollars, Wine Cats Matured Whiskey from Cavalan. A lot of hype around this one, but does it actually live up to that price? We're going to find out. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. I'm Eric. Single malt whiskey from Taiwan on the bar here. Cavalans Vinho Barique. As always here on the channel, no states finish review. This whiskey is coming your way. I will share a bit about the value, give you my final thoughts, a put a final score on this, and leave you with a malt musing. But first, before you uh, go any further, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. I'll make sure you don't miss any of these reviews which I drop here on YouTube. I also do live streams. I would love to have you on those as well. Subscribing will make sure you know when those are happening. Okay. So, Cavalan, a whiskey from Taiwan. Um, and since 2005, they have really been the big dog of whiskey on, ta on the island of Taiwan, the country of Taiwan. Um as of late, there's been a couple, I think one or two others that have been popping up there, but Cavalan is still um, the single malt whiskey tinnitus that's really synonymous with Taiwan. The one we're looking at today is a cat is from their cask strength range, sometimes called Solist, depending on what year you get it. Um, we are looking at the Cavalan Vinho Barique. Uh, comes in, this one in particular came in a tube like this. It's kind of a plastic leather, opens up, kind of nice. It has a scroll, a scroll in it that tells you a bit about the whiskey, so on and so forth. Um, so sometimes you'll find these in boxes or in wooden cases like those up there. Um, but anyways, so the thing I, I want to talk a little bit about here as we get into the tale of the tape is how to know how old your Cavalan is and what year it's from. So here we go. Tail of tape on this is, this is a uh, bottled at 57.1% ABV. It is non-chill filtered and it is natural color because it's written right there on the label. Now, um, as for an age statement, there's no specific age statement, but there is a vintage statement. You just have to look for it. So what you're gonna see on that bottle, right about there is a code number. Uh, it's a letter followed by nine numbers and another letter. So. Uh, this one starts with the W, which is uh, the first letter of this, letting you know what type of maturation it is. In this case, it is wine, hence Vinho Barique. Um, and then you get the distillation date, this one, 12-12-25. So there you go. This was 2012, around Christmas time, maybe exactly on Christmas. <laughs> now, but when was this bottled? Well, on the back, we'll get uh, a code number and a date about the time it was bottled. This was bottled on May the 21st of 2018. So this is about a five and a half year old whiskey per tick. Okay. So that's how you read uh, the age on your cab lens. And there's something to note about this. Um, how, uh, you know, why, why is such a young whiskey being bottled here by Cavalan and uh, especially a distillery that's been around since 2005. Well, the short answer is, is it comes down to climate. Um, because it is much warmer on average in Taiwan than it is in Scotland, the amount of cask influence, which is definitely uh, mostly driven by temperature and the breathing in and out of wood, which sucks in, which is out, uh, the spirit that's inside of it. In about five years, you can get a whiskey that you know, is much more mature than, say, a five-year-old single malt scotch. So, Cavalin, you will not find a lot of heavily aged stuff. I think I've seen a couple seven years. Maybe there's an eight out there here or there. I'm not sure, but really uh, not really part of their range. And as for their range, they do have some introductory stuff that's pretty readily available. Um, stuff that's in that 40 to 46 um, age range. Um, but the Solist and cast the Solus slash cast strength series, really where you're going to get um, the most, uh, I would say, authentic expression of a Catalan. So with all that aside, uh, yeah, so we're looking at a wine matured five and a half year old whiskey from Catalan. Let's get it in the glass. See what we're working with here. Okay. 
So as I said, first of all, natural color. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous natural color. We do not know exactly what type of wine this is, but you know, definitely a red wine. All right, on the notes. Wow, just a huge, rich, inviting, warming um, nose here. It starts off, you have a lot of just red, juicy um, kind of red stone fruits, plum. There's some raisin. You get hints of cinnamon, a little bit of barrel spice, vanilla, kind of kind of rounding it off. There is also surprisingly for such a young whiskey hints of tropical fruit in this. I want to say pineapple. I want to say, I don't know, papaya mango type thing. There's toffee, slight oak. It, it is a near perfect nose. There's not a hint of edge or alcohol to this. This is a very well crafted and refined whiskey. So if that is what you were looking for, this nose would definitely intrigue you. Wow. That oak is just, you get a little fresh cut wood, you get a bit of oak spice in the charred oak. It just smells rich, creamy, and fruity. All right. 57.1%. Here we go. Um, let's give it a taste. Slunch. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. What a whiskey. Um, it's so soft and rich. I, I can't really think of another whiskey that comes that I can compare this to that has this type of arrival, especially only at five and a half years here. It, it arrives like a like a 20 year old Speyside Highland, maybe. Rich stone fruits, vanilla, butterscotch toffee notes. As it develops, it starts to get a bit drying from that red fruit, but it's never too drying. It's dry, it's slightly tannic and then a bit of cinnamon like cinnamon red hot candy maybe even a bit of chili but as as that's happening you're just getting waves of again these these almost berries and cream vanilla forward toffee a bit of that there's some dark chocolate in here the background notes are really popping of to sweet citrus those little tropical notes and then as it goes into a medium to long finish, I would actually go for so far as to say long. A little bit of the spice is kicked up, but it's never falling too far out of balance. Rich. You're left with just kind of a bit of leather tar, um, not tar, leather, um, like treacle molasses. Plum, raisin, fig, that kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of like dried fruits, like apricot. Vanilla, yep, and with a little bit of cinnamon. I'm, it's stunning, pretty stunningly good. Yeah, just the way the a it it smells so much, like it's aged so much longer than it has, and it just is somehow also retaining just an incredible effervescent freshness. All right. I'm going to put some water on it. Again, this one in particular is bottled at 57.1%. I'm going to do about five drops of water here. Really just want to bring this down a bit and see what else um, we will get to experience here in this Cavalier and Vinho Greek. Let's see how this works. Put it around. Let's check out the nose. Wow, almond an almond paste, like a uh, cookie dough. Again, very similar to neat. You're getting those, those sweet, ripe, rich, juicy stone fruits. A bit of that vanilla, the caramel, toffee note. Tropical fruits taking a little step back. Oak has come a little forward, a little spicier here, a little bit more robust on the notes. 
fresh cut wood. Wow. Slightly charred oak, and there's that tropical fruit. Okay, here we go. Wow. Again, the development's extended here with water. Notes are about the same as I was talking earlier. Rich fruit, arrives really elegant, spice and tannic kind of oak cast buildup in the back end of the palate and the back end of the development. Sweet, rich fruits, hoppy, bit of spice. Again, I think it's it's kind of like a hot cinnamon, almost like a bit, um, I almost want to say like a, um, what is it called? Like a Chinese five spice. Like the coriander kind of thing going on. Really just mind boggling. Um, Development is a is a little bit extended here with water, finishes a little bit shorter and a little bit drier. Um, I actually think, as crazy as this sounds, at 57.1%, I think this is actually best experienced, even neat. Um, it You wouldn't really know. The water actually makes it a little bit more of an assertive whiskey. Okay, let's talk value. Um, so as I mentioned, Cablin's Vinho Barrique. Um, these come out pretty much on the regular. They are single casks, right? You have your barrel number there next, next to the date and, and all of that and the barrel lettering. Um, so you can find these pretty readily. I think when it comes to their soulless cast strength range, this is probably the most easy to get your hands on. Um, a good liquor store will have it. Here in the United States, 2023, what's a bottle of this going to cost you? We're in that 230 to 260 range, give or take, depending on where you live, of course, all things considered. Um, so let's talk about final thoughts here. And the final thoughts are really one question. Is spending 200 some odd dollars on a five and a half year old to six year old whiskey uh, a good, does it live up to the hype? Is it worth your money? Is it a good investment? The answer to all those questions is a resounding yes. Um, this Cabellan Vinho Barrique, whether you are a fan of wine or not, um, this is going to wow you. Um, you do not need to like red wine to enjoy this whiskey if you have had, unless you do not like sherry of any kind, uh, the Cabellan Vinho Barrique is almost standing alone as honestly one of the better whiskeys in that price range, if not the best whiskey in that price range. Um, I'm stunned by how amazing this is. It's the elegance and richness that comes through here uh, is, is really just a testament to what must be the one of the top cask quality uh, forward distilleries you're going to find. If there's one criticism you could have of this is that maybe the casks are so good, so wet and so uh, just potent that they're not going to, uh, that they're drowning out a little bit of the distillery character here. That is very possible, but I do not think anybody would be uh, too upset by that given just how incredible this whiskey is. Um, the price I think is worth it for sure. And uh, I'll be uh, I'll be quite frank. I think this is probably one of the better whiskeys I've ever had, and I'm the score I'm going to give this is going to reflect it. So, final score here on Cavalier and Vinho Barrique is a five out of five, which means you should buy it now. Um, it is that good. It is. I'm that confident in it, and I cannot wait to get my hands on another bottling of this. It is simply um, a masterclass of malt whiskey. And uh, I think if there is one that you're going to buy from Cavalan, um, they have a couple others that are a lot more expensive, um, given the availability plus the price point on this. It's a perfect whiskey. Um, so 
Yeah, very high praise on this. Five out of five star for this, for sure. Um, I have complete confidence in that. It is worth running out and buying. So there you go. Let me know in the comments below, have you had the Cavalian Vinho Barique or any other Cavalian uh, Solus or Castrings in particular? Would love to hear your thoughts on them. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this whiskey. No question about that. And with that, I'm going to send you on over to your Malt Musing, and I'll see you next time here on Malt Musing Whiskey Reviews. Thank you so much.